What's up everyone, Nathan back with another AAA video. I know some of you guys are probably getting a little bit tired of it, but the fact is I did win my recent tournament game in the tier. So I do have to make some more teams for another tournament game. I only had two, they were a little bit gimmicky. I don't wanna go into a game where I revealed all my stuff. So I need another team and that's what we're gonna be doing today. We're gonna be building a team for me right here. Uh, I always talk about how I think offense is really good in AAA. And there's a type of offense if you want to build around for a while, even a monotype if you want to build around this sort of concept in a little bit more detail. That's what we're going to be doing today. And I thought, you know, this one's going to be a bit of a tough pitch for you guys. I can already know this is a bit of a different camera angle. We're going to do something different today. I'm going to pitch to you guys why I want to do this type of uh, offense. So first off, welcome to my TED Talk. Gestures, stipulation, echo in the room because I'm in the back of the room instead of right in front of my mic. You already know it. So let's get into it right now with my presentation here that I have for you guys. And there's that hotkey and we are, oh, hold on, F11. There we go. All right. Hello everyone, welcome to my TED talk on why Psychic Surge is good. I'm gonna teach you all how to stay the course, expand the force, and how to keep your team healthy as a horse. Let's get going. First off, my first point here that I wanna talk about is, hey, Offense, AAA, we all know it's good. It goes together like fruit platters and breakfast. The most important thing to keep in mind when we're building offense in AAA is that it's a very offensive tier. There's some threats that are just universally difficult to match. We can be talking about technician weavile. We can be talking about adaptability mamoswine. What's most important is that we build threats to help prepare ourselves against it. And I like to theme my offense around a certain concept. So that could be weather, which struggles because of all the primordial sea users, all the desolate land users. You already know that. I've We've gone through this before. What I suggest right here is an offense to get rid of all of that, to kind of skirt aside all of this. Also, let's move my camera right here. This is in the wrong freaking place. There we go. Oh, this is so much better now. Look at that. Okay, next up. The benefits of the Psychic Surge offense. How do you turn that brain power into the firepower? First off, and most importantly, we need to empower our psychic attackers. There's all kinds of strong psychic attackers out there, but I need to be able to use an option that will be able to maximize their effectiveness. And hey, look, expanding force, it's already a nuke. You know, Psychic Surge Alakazam, that alone is a strong enough combination right there. If we get a different expanding force user, then we get a tinted lens user, there's nothing swapping into it, steel type or otherwise, it's gonna be unstoppable to it KOs across the board. We'd love to see that. Next up though, we have to have a defense versus priority here. Uh, a big thing in the AAA tier is gonna be priority. I almost had it as queenly majesty of all things High Dragon, just to help deal with that in another one of my teams. We can get rid of all of that by having a Psychic Surge Mon like Alakazam to keep us a little bit safe. Uh, we're gonna have multiple, well, I'd love to have multiple uh, Psychic Surge users, but we can't do that. We're gonna have at least one, so we're gonna be as protected from that as much as possible. Triage is dominant in the tier. We don't wanna deal with the Horn Leeches. We don't wanna deal with any of that. So I'm gonna get rid of all of that by just having this up at all times. Use a lot of help against the Ice Shard users, all of that stuff, really scary stuff. And then finally, oh no, oh God. Oh, what am I doing? Ugh. I'll lock that lair. <laughs> Finally, the, the, the psychic surge is less likely to be removed. As I mentioned, primordial sea, uh, weather lock, uh, uh, desolate land. These are all common things that were uh, plaguing our offense with rain. We didn't run into it and we got lucky. That's why I said we were matchup fishing there. We don't have to worry about this to nearly the same extent if we are using a terrain like this. Yes, there can be like a grassy terrain, grassy seed or a grassy glide user. That's possible. Yes, we can run into a debug or can debug away our terrain, which you can't do in Mother. That's possible. But the fact is, you are not swapping into a single Mon and gutting our offense like that. That's not going to be possible. And they're going to have to be swapping in and out of these huge expanding forces anyways. So let's hope that we don't have to deal with that. Next point, let's keep it going. Let's keep the, the gesticulation, the good, you know, and to do this right here. Here's a testimonial from Amy Armstrong, who is noted for liking Uniclus. Who can blame her? He loves the Psychic Surge offense, and this is what we're gonna be uh, expanding in our workforce here. Uniclus is Pog. Next up, things that are gonna scare us. We Look, this is not a risk-free offense. Dark-type Pokemon, they're very scary. They're very popular too. We do have Dark-type Pokemon to deal with. In addition to Steel-type walls, not all of our Pokemon can be Tinted Lens Sweepers. We do wanna have some offense that takes advantage of our strong points. In Steel-type walls, Scizor in particular with its super effective U-turn, that's gonna scare me. And not to mention, we also have to be swapping in and out of ghost type attackers. If our entire team is weak to ghost type attackers, that's a bit of a threat. That's a little bit of a concern. How are we gonna deal with that? With my system, I'll show you how. Defensive roles needed to help you overcome this. So here we go. First off, let's talk dark type pivots. Look, I, I know what you're saying, Nathan. You're really gonna include a dark type pivot to help me deal with the dark types? That's 
you sound dumb, Nathan. Well, I do sound dumb, but hear me out because any of that will not only help us with dark type moves, but it'll also get some strong pivots that way. If we use a good dark type pivot, get our own strong attackers as well. In addition, it's giving us help against the ghost types and the dark type moves. Same thing as we saw in Urshifu uh, and uh, Spectre answers in OU recently. That's what we need in our team. That's the same answer we're looking to defend right now. Fairy type ball is going to be important too. It's going to help against the bug types. It's going to help versus the dark types. Fairy types are already like, look, oh, you know, oh, darn, I guess I'll include a fairy type on my team. You got me if I have to. They're, it's a terrible defensive type, but if you if you insist, I'll do it. So look, they're already fantastic. Having a fairy type ball is going to be a huge help for us. And also while we're at it, we'll add some skill types. It's going to help us out a little bit versus the bug types too. Short from the weaknesses there. Already combos great with those fairy type attackers. And then we're going to get some utility there. We're talking defogs. We're talking some hazards. We're talking hazing. Look, a Skarmory does all three of those right there in addition to offering a ground type typing right there. So not that hard to look for. Definitely an important one. And next up we have oh, offensive rolls. A slide after my own heart if I do say so myself. Now this is how uh, we are going to structure our offense because the offense is the most important part. Of course, we need the Psychic Terrain Setter. I'd have three of them if I could, but I can't. So we're only gonna have one. So we have to be choose one. I'm not saying one that's bulky because we do want them to still be uh, presenting lots of strong offense. But it'd be ideal if they had, you know, they could look a strong Pelipper. You're tanky, uh, you're threatening, and you can pivot out. So, you know, Latios, I think would be perfect, but it doesn't have a U-turn. God, can you imagine Latios with a U-turn? Anyways, that's neither here nor there. Tinted Lens of User. If we get that second terrain, we do get a pivot going into our uh, Tinted Lens User. Nothing is swapping into it short of an actual dark type immunity. So that's, those are two important things to look out for right there. Third though, a breaker for these dark types. I keep mentioning it. Dark types are the ultimate problem with this thing. Tinted Lens is fine at breaking steel types. It's fine at breaking other psychic types. It's not gonna help us a lick against dark types. So we need something to lure in the dark types, first of all, because it's one thing to have like a Conkildur. No dark type is ever swapping into a Conkildur. So we need to break that and lure them in the first place. My first thought, you know, obviously you get like a, a fairy, uh, a psychic type attack, you're like Feeny, you're in good hands. But I'm thinking something like, you know, maybe a little bit of, uh, a little bit of ring target. Hear me out, hear me out on that one. Ring target's always fun, but it's a little bit gimmicky. Finally, last but not least, we need a physical attacker. I don't want to run into a full Spideff Blissey or whatever kind of horseshit and lose right away because it's a good special wall. We need a physical attacker, whether that's a Metagross with Zen Headbutt, whether that's a Jirachi doing the same, or whether it's just as simple as a Psy Shock on one of our psychic Pokemon, I'm okay with it, but we need to be able to target these special walls too. This is the fourth most important category to consider. And that is going to bring us to the end of my presentation. Hey, thank you so much for attending my TED Talk. Let's, let's make some magic happen. Let's put those brains of ours to use. Let's make the, let's not make the spoons rise. Let's make the, uh, the, the, let's, let's raise the roof. Yeah. All right. <laughs> that was only half as bad as a disaster as I thought it would be. There we go. And we're back and let's get team building. Look, I've broken it down. I think pretty fantastically. I'm waiting for my call from the official Ted talk here, but let's actually get building on this AAA. So clearly I had some stuff in mind when I made that, uh, not remotely in joke uh, presentation there. And the first thing I want to talk about is our defensive utility, because I think that's important. Um, I really like the idea of a Moltres Scalar here. And hear me out, because Moltres Scalar, what are some of his biggest problems? Uh, it seems like a defensive mom when you look at its stats, but it doesn't have Roost. Uh, it doesn't have any recovery moves at all. Even like a, a mediocre move like Jungle Healing would go a long way. Nope, not at all. It doesn't have any of that. It's also got a Flying Typing, which is going to hurt it a lot. This is why I'm suggesting we counter this with Heavy Duty Boots and Regenerator. So now we can take full advantage of its great typing, uh, its great defensive stats. I'm probably going to go full Spadef here, if I'm being honest. I'll go 2, 4, 8 so that we don't have to fear uh, too much when we lose our boots. I actually don't even know if I need full Spadef because it's like so, so spadef already. Now that I think about it, mixed stats are probably fine. I'll run some calcs after this and see like if there's any benchmarks I'm trying to hit. But we'll start here. And it's got a great move pool too. We're talking Dark Pulse. Although, wait, what's its unique move? I don't even, I, I, oh, that's way better than Dark Pulse. Hell yeah, it's just good Dark Pulse. Excellent. Okay, yeah, I wasn't even sure I was going to run there. How it plays also interesting too, because it kind of gives you some counter attacking stuff. And, you know, the attack stat's not terrible. You can run Sucker Punch too. But I think the main reason you would do that would be to run Sucker Punch. And that's where realistically not going to happen too much uh, in a Psychic Surge offense. Let's be honest, we're doing that to beat all of the priority we're coming up against. So I'll do U-Turn too, which is a big reason why I was attracted to this mon. Uh... Does it get Air Slash? Air Slash versus Hurricane is a hell of a question. Hell of a question. I think I'll do Hurricane though. 
Get a little bit crazy with it. We don't get defug even, which is sad. Uh, we do get all kinds of moves for a final thing here. Even nasty plot can make us a little bit of a, you know, surreptitious sweeper. But I think I will just go with classic taunt. I mean, it's extra utility that you always want on your team, but almost never can seem to really afford. And I like the idea, especially on a fast user like this. You know, uninvested, of course, in that speed stat, but still going to be very strong. I might, you know, I'm probably going to adjust these EVs later down the road, but I'll just leave this for now for the time being here. And ooh, we're a little bit overcorrected here. Oh, I messed up all my scenes in this presentation, everyone. And so for this next mod that I'm thinking of, I was actually leaning towards a Weezing Galar. And again, Weezing Galar, again, it seems like a strange one because it's a mod that benefits from its abilities. And usually in AAA, you kind of gravitate towards mods who are excellent uh, and they're just kind of being held back by mediocre abilities. But my first thought with this Weezing Galar is like, Damn, this would be another good pivot, especially it would work well in conjunction with Moltres Galar. Now, granted, my first thought that I'm really concerned about is just a Mammoth Swine. I've mentioned it in the past. I think it's like adaptability. It's one of the best. It's a simple you know, sort of set. It's one of the best uh, wall breakers in the tier. This, if they don't have Levitate, is going to just be annihilated by that uh, Mammoth Swine. So I can only really answer it with offensive uh, threats. So definitely something to keep our eye on um i like that's a defogger i love that uh we can do haze on it too i love that it can offer a bit of status sludge bomb and strange team is a really difficult one to decide between because they both offer a great deal of help i'm thinking again with the mulch galar can i help with hurricane too so i'll do this um willow wisp too i would not do aromatherapy i would definitely do uh haze here because i'm just worried about anti-sweeping threats especially things like you know snorlax setting up on me things like that that's the most afraid of with regenerator as our ability in addition to black sludge i don't think we need uh paint split as a healing move anymore so i can happily throw in defog in that spot and then for the last move of just status or whatever there's a lot of uh really compelling options toxic spikes in particular i really love the thought of especially if we get a rocker somewhere else down the road that's interesting i think either toxic spikes or toxic or will-o-wisp one of those three but this is going to be a Weezing Galar is coming in on offensive mons, although there's so much poison heal in the tier. The Toxic Spike seems a little bit less good. I guess I'll keep Will-O-Wisp because it's going to affect those physical attackers that this Weezing Galar is going to be coming in on so frequently. And then if it can happen to get Will-O-Wisp on a poison heal mon so they can't activate their, their poison heal, and that's fantastic. Whereas uh, Toxic Spikes wouldn't be so good at all in that situation. Um... Okay, so I like this start so far. Now let's get to the fun part. Let's get to the offensive mons here. And um, my first thought, I might change down the road, but when I'm trying to think of a good mon who can take advantage of this terrain and also be a rocker and come in frequently and pivot. And actually, I didn't even consider this in advance, but this could actually be the Scarf or two, which would kind of put some, uh, which would make the Stealth Rock a little bit less good. But I'll probably change this down the road, but as a Psychic Surge user, that's not bad. Um, oh, you know, it's funny. The reason I thought it'd be a good Scarf is because like, you could then Zen Headbutt Mons down, but you can't do that, of course, with the Psychic Surge. It's funny how, like, you conflate, you know, I'll conflate, you know, uh, I was thinking, oh, Arcane is a good physical wall just because of Intimidate. And I was thinking, oh, it'll be a great mod on this tier, blah, 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 blah. And I was looking to sets for the Arc Arcanine, and then I realized, oh, wait, it's not as good of a physical wall as I thought it was because if I give it Desolate Land, then it's not going to be getting Intimidate. It's kind of funny how that works out. Uh, so I want to make a little switch here. I mean, yeah, that makes me way less uh, likely to do the choice scarf in the situation. Um, maybe I'll do Shuka. I might, again, this is all just kind of throwing ideas out right now. Um, do I want to make it physical? I'm guessing I do. I'm guessing I do. I mean, Zen Headbutt gets way, way worse when you don't have that extra flinch chance, to be honest. Whereas Psychic is just really strong in general. You could even be, do this as a calm mind, Rachi. But I'm definitely running U-turn. This is these these two are you know over and done with. Um, boy, I don't know what I really want. What direction I want to go from here though? That's a I could do a wish passing set. That's actually very tempting. Wish U-turn. Um, I could do if I can still do that scarf and do a trick set. So I'm not sure. Even a healing wish. Very interesting thought. Very very interesting thought. But as is, ours our psychic surge setter. I think we'll go with wish. You know we could even you know take advantage of that recovery on ourselves here. The best thing about Jirachi, though, is he's going to be a strong defensive Mon uh, to kind of capitalize this. It's going to have some offensive presence, but it's also going to have some defensive presence. Maybe I should make this Psychic and do it be a dual breaker. I don't know. It's so hard to decide. Let's keep it moving and get to the more fun side. There's going to be some offensive breakers here. Um, my first thought when it comes to breaking uh, some Mons that are going to be dark types is just have strong Pokemon with strong secondary salves like Lele and Latios. Um, one of them is going to be Tinted Lens. One of them, uh, I like the idea of a Dragon Ma uh, Gladius a lot too. Is this allowed in this tier? Wait, hold on. Are we allowed to do that in this tier? Soul Dew? No. Really interesting. 
That is interesting, especially if you're running like a Calm Mind Dragon Maw set. Okay, welcome back to that. Um, I still do need a Scarfer in my opinion. These are fast mods to begin with, but I would still like a Scarfer. My first thought is just going, you know, my basic thoughts here is just a choice. Specs Lele, I love Tinted Lens. It's kind of up for debate on whether Tinted Lens is broken, whether it's not. There's kind of two camps to the side. I'm not sure if I'm going to say it's broken, it needs to be banned, but I'm definitely on the side that says it's very, very good because that's my first, second, and third thought here. Uh, then I'll do Shock. So again, we get some defense against Blissies and stuff like that. Focus Blast kind of shores up the defenses there. Hopefully, we don't have to be clicking that one too much. Um, so yeah, this thing's going to be breaking just about everything. Uh, good luck swapping into this. If we actually get the terrain up... Oh, did not set the ability here. So if you actually get the terrain up, it's going to be really, really, really difficult to swap into. And if you're brave enough to go into a Dark type on a Psychic or a Psy Shock, guess what? I got a Moon Blast waiting for you right there. Uh, then for Latios... Um, you can do a lot here. What is, what is, I, I was I was reading this on the smoke on that stream. It was interesting. I, I, Dragon's Maw, I didn't really give much thought. I thought, why don't you just run adaptability? But adaptability is actually makes your dragon moves weaker than Dragon's Maw would be, which is definitely a fascinating idea. But my thought as it stands right now is I, I would like a Scarf on this team at some point. So you, you know, Lattice is a great candidate there. And you do this. Because hear me out. This way, when I have my Latios in, it's speed is plus one. Our dragon type moves are plus one. And if we're fortunate enough to have the terrain up as well, then our psychic moves are plus one. So it's essentially like running adaptability and, you know, or, or having a choice specs mod and you're just having all like the possible advantages of Latios in one set. In theory, that's a lot of, you know, kind of theoreticals I'm throwing around right there. But I really enjoy the idea. Um, if I didn't have a defog, like I could change this wheezing defog to a strange steam to be really good against the dark types can be swapping in on be really really good and then Ladius can kind of shore things up with its own defog really like that idea if i'm being honest but um oh i again i'm not gonna make a decision right now I can come back to it um psy shock on this mod too is a difficult call i want to say no for now um mystical fire and aura sphere are always a difficult decision but there's so many the mods that uh Latios will be breaking with mystical fire and aura sphere uh, like Ferrothorn and like Heatran, or Flashfire and Heatran. Actually, Heatran would now be hit by the Mystical Fire really well, which is an interesting thought. Oh gosh, that, but like Heatran, you want the Aura Sphere. It kind of flips now. That's funny, it flips. You want the Fire move for the Heatran now, and you want the Fighting move for the Ferrothorn. I could do both too. You know, most, you know, OU Choice Scarf sets are going to be running uh, Trick here instead. And again, I'm not sure if I'll do Trick here in this position. Um, that's an interesting thought. Um, well, I think I might do, knowing that I don't necessarily want to run Trick in this position, I might do, or I, or I do Trick here, then I do cripple those mons. Yeah, I'll, I can have multiple Trick users, what the hell. And then I'll probably do Aura Sphere, because fighting coverage is going to be really useful. Okay, that's fair enough. Um, and then for the final slot, again, I keep alluding to a possible ring target mod. And there's a lot of mons that I have in mind to do that. And so here's my final thought. You get a tanky mon like Mew, you could also do Reuniclus in this scenario. I, it would definitely work. Um, I want it to be a Mon that can just be a good pivot in general though. I like this a lot. You get this Mew in, tanky, fast, come in, it can drop future sets, which is gonna be great synergy to begin with. Um, and then, I mean, I could also just put like a, a fighting move here. Like what's what's Mew's strongest? I could do a focus blast Mew. I could do a focus punch. <sighs> we could do a focus punch Mew. That would be really funny. That would be hilariously funny. But I was thinking a ring target trick there. I, I have this Mew in. It could be ability uh, regenerator too if I want to keep it healthy too. We give it a ring target. I drop a future site at some point. They go to their dark type mon. When they do, I trick them the ring target. That goes that for the rest of the game and we're in business. I really like that thought. But I'm starting to realize the focus punch is not even a terrible idea. But it would, some mons would handle that fine. Especially if we got like, yeah, no, I think I don't, I, that's a funny idea, but I don't think so. Um, and then, yeah, do I just not run softball at that point? I mean, I would have to have some sort of different other move at that point. I'm thinking maybe just Fire Blast for coverage. Maybe, again, this is like super just theoretical, probably dumb as hell, if I'm being honest. Um, but I really like the idea. Um, and again, we're going to be having this pivot ability with our Mons, which I'm always a fan of. I really like where this is starting. Uh, we might change down the road. I might change the Mew to something that just is strong versus fighting types. You know, I could do a Gallade at that point. I can make just a more of a pivot 
future site user and set up similar forks to Slowbird as in uh, overused. There's lots and lots of possibilities, but I like the idea of this ring target trick set. I think it could definitely have some potential. Um, not as much offense to take advantage of as I would like, actually. I was hoping to have more offensive mons. But we do hit all my checklists. We do have lots of breakers. Um, let's give it a shot. Like the fact is these guys alone aren't going to be strong enough to break anything as is. Might, you know, completely regret it, but let's give it a shot in the ladder. This is why I'm doing it live. I want to just be able to mess around, see what works, see what doesn't. Um, might need more offense, might not. Oh, I have two regenerator mons. Oh, that's interesting. I have three regenerator mons. Oh, that's a big problem. Well, let's see. Mew needs some sort of defensive ability here. So let's just do, let's just do Dauntless Shield. What the hell? Give ourselves more defense. Let's 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 lean out of the speed element, lean into the defense. This thing is impossible to break in this tier. If you guys don't know, uh, then I can do soft boiled. Then I can uh, yeah I can still set up these future sites really really nilly. And then these two both have a generator. Okay, maybe I do need something on on Weezing Galar if that's the case. Maybe I do need pain split. Well, I guess I'll just be forced to try this set out. This is dumb as hell. <laughs> Not that important, but I don't know. What the hell? I don't know. Again, I'm just I'm just throwing shit at the wall right now, seeing what sticks. I like the idea. Let's give it one game before I sign off on this live. Hopefully, uh, we can kind of ID some uh, difficulty to this team, and then I can kind of fine tune it before my tournament game tomorrow. I could do another live tomorrow again. It's kind of this is turning into a bit of a week of uh, AAA at this point, which. I'm in love with at least and seems like other people are liking it too. So that's a bit of a breath of fresh air. And we are going to come across a very strong looking, almost electric terrain. I'm going to guess team, maybe electric terrain Raikou in addition to surge surf for Drake result. So we are in a bit of a weather war, um, but instead of uh, fighting over uh, whether we are doing terrain, which is interesting. Um, I'll be curious to see how advantaged we are. The biggest problem is going to be breaking the uh, the, the, the Drake result because Drake result we can't really swap into safely. Maybe Latios takes one. Maybe Weezing takes one. I don't know. It'll be curious to see uh, as they're going to go with their Reuniclus and they are who knows. Uh, let's go for rocks. I wouldn't be surprised if they go for a swap to their own electric terrain user, but they're going to calm mind. Okay, fair enough. Let's you turn out. Let's get our. Uh, this is a terrible matchup for our Weezing Galar because it is uh, nuked by Reuniclus to begin with. So let's do our. I wonder if they have something to beat the dark types. I don't think so. Um, Multicolor should be fine. So should Tapu Lele, to be honest. I think a Psychic will just kill it right now, or even a Psy Shock. So I'm gonna give that a shot. Let's go Psy Shock um, with Tapu Lele. In Psychic Terrain, should be great. Or is Psychic stronger? It's hard to say. They get another comment up. I think I got a Psy Shock as it's going to 50%. Not bad as they recover. Ooh, that's not good at all. 60%. Oh, that's very bad. That's very bad. What is their last moves going to be? Shadow Ball, maybe Focus Blast. Hard to say. Um, if Weezing gets off a Haze, I believe we're faster. Um, then it's just dying. It's a trade at that point, which I'm not a fan of. Um, really surprised it did that little damage, Tapu Lele. That's, you know, that's the argument right there for uh, why you should have uh, adaptability over Tinted Lens. That's the debate right now. Is people are debating, like, Tinted Lens, is it that good? If I just had adaptability, it could be Moonblast in that situation instead. Which, you know, fair enough. Um, I could trick them. My Scarf with Latios for sure could do that. Um, go for a crit. I mean, we are outpacing them, but that's going to end when the Psychic Terrain goes down. Oh, this truck should absolutely have Terrain Extender. No reason not to have Terrain Extender. Leftovers is nice, but Terrain Extender is way too good. Um, especially considering how pivotal much of our game is going to be on based on that. Um, I could taunt with Moltres Scalar. Let's try that at least for a start. I will see what kind of coverage moves they've got. Um, I'll taunt right here. Um, we can outbeat them. They focus blast. We can handle that nice and easily, actually. I'll fire your wrath once. I can probably chip them down, actually. Oh, that flinch. Definitely, I can. <laughs> flinch into crit. <laughs> what do I got to say right there? Raikou's going to come in with the electric terrain. I'm going to go straight to my Jirachi. I don't want to mess around right now. Uh, Drake Result's a huge question mark for me. They're going to Volt Switch. Uh, I guess we're going to see Heat Ran or Extra Drill at that point. If we see uh, Heat Ran... They do go to Heat Ran. It says regular Sun Heat Ran. So they're running weather and all that. Um, so there's always a thought of going right back to Raikou. But I am going to try out my... Lele isn't good on an electric move. I, I expect we to see just a, a basic Sun move right now, if I'm being honest. And there's no dark types for us to worry about, by the way. So the whole ring target nonsense with Mew is really not a concern. Um, 
Oh, I think I'll go to Moltres here. Hear me out. As they erupt. Yeah, Moltres is spadeft as hell, man. Oh, but they are faster than us. That's... Okay. It's just full speed. That sucks. But now that Reuniclus is gone, it's at least done its job. Um, and now we still have Psychic Terrain up. And I believe I should be able to knock them out with Psyshock here. Let's see. Oh, there's Scarf. Oh my gosh. I should have known. But like... I... I that's tough. That's a tough one to hold. Um... Latios can probably take one, and it can maybe get uh, something going with Aura Sphere. Aura Sphere, maybe it's like a two at KO. It's not strong enough. Dragon's Maw, how hard is that hitting? Oh man, I needed that Tapu Lele as a breaker. It's so important. Well, let's look at this. I can still only I can take an eruption at this stage. Um, use more Fizz Def. Um, I think this Mew might have to change. There's a different. There's different ways to break Dark types than just having this essentially gimmick feature site Mew. Um, Draco Meteor is like a Specs Meteor, so it's not taking strong enough. I got an Aura Sphere. Yeah, two a KO. Eruption is pretty strong that they've lost health at least. Uh, will we see a swap to Skarmory? Definitely a possibility. We're gonna we'll go to Raikou here. Uh, does twenty nine percent? Don't fear an Ice move. They don't have HP Ice. They've got Scald, Aura Sphere, and Electric moves, and we tank all of that. Um, so I'm gonna just do this Aura Sphere right now. They are now dead after rocks. I think that was the case even before. The rising voltage. Okay, a little bit surprising. Um, I can go to Jirachi pretty easily though. And set up a U-turn afterwards. And then we just won the weather war. Uh, so let's pivot out here. See who they go to. Again, three steel types. We've lost our tinted lens user. I could have been smarter about that with the heat run. I'm definitely going to be kicking myself on that one. Um, Let's go to our, and even again, if Mew had that Fire Blast had before, it'd be fine too, but it doesn't, of course. Nasty, nasty stuff. Um, do I need Choice Scarf on Latios anymore? I don't even think I do. Um, and Skarmory kind of walls us completely too, and it's got no recovery. I'm gonna have to pass a wish to it at some point. Um, let's go to our Mew here, Future Sight as a defog. Looking like a bit of a longer game now, but they're gonna defog right now. I'll feature site here as they spikes. Okay, interesting. And then I can go to my Rachi and I can wish. I wonder what they'll do right now. I guess they're not going for a defog because they end up a full two to hazards right now. 35% on the Skarmory. That's I think they're still boosted by the psychic terrain. So that's a kind of a cool interaction right there. Um and Jirachi can live one more uh swap in on the spikes. Um, and then I can U-turn right now and get this Latios up nice and healthy. Uh, actually, I'm not, I wouldn't even U-turn just in case there's a Rocky Helmet or something in the Skarmory. I guess I do that because Latios' health is it's our only breaker at this stage. Oh, and Latios doesn't have Levitate anymore. That's funny. I forgot about that. So we're weak to spikes. Okay, so that's uh, something to keep in mind. Uh, tricking this thing would actually be pretty handy. And our speed tier is really not that important anymore. Uh, it helps versus Raikou, but Raikou should be dead at this point. So I think that's a worthwhile trick. Um, as our focus sash, huh? Okay, so now I can Psychic or Aura Sphere with Impunity. I'll Aura Sphere. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if they go for a sack right now. Exactly what they do. So Drake Result, not too big of a threat. Jirachi can come in one more time. Um, yeah, we're no longer sash, actually. This was a problem. I didn't give that enough respect. Okay, so Eruption, we live pretty easily. As a Fire Blast or Flash Can, that becomes a true concern. So I think Mew isn't really invested in Spadef, but I think we're fine here. They're not Scarf, obviously. I think Mew is fine. Let's give it a shot. And now Lattice is coming in on 25%, by the way, on all these hats and stuff, which is really nasty. We might be looking at a suicide uh, uh, defog with Weezing Galar here. I would go to it right now if I wasn't so fearful of a flash can at the moment. So we'll do that. Um, yeah, I guess I, I think this Mew might have to go at this. The Future Sight, I love the idea, but I could really just throw Future Sight on any of these Mons and then have a much more effective breaker in Mew's position that takes advantage of the Psychic Terrain a little bit better, or, or future, you, you know what I mean, <laughs> the Psychic Terrain. Uh, like, even I got rid of Trick, Trick Scarf is very useful, so it's it's gonna save our bacon in this game, potentially. So, I'm reluctant to say goodbye to that, but I, I there's other mods that could be using Future Sight. Even, even this Rachi doesn't necessarily need Wish, even though, again, it just saved our bacon. Future Sight is interesting, actually. Could do Future Sight and then, like, uh, Flash Cannon. You can do that. Yeah, why not? Well, let's do it. I can do Future Sight and Doom Desire, which is the same thing, essentially. Uh, okay, let's do that. And then minus two attack. Essentially the same set. Uh, that works for me. 
We got a mule. Let's see if Mew's a two at KO here. In the sun, it probably is, though. Oh, because they're not boosted by sun because they're using flash cannon. Of course, of course. Um, that makes sense. If I take away this thing's um, specs, or scarf, then Latios is really good again, and we can... You can almost just sweep with Latios at that stage. That's very encouraging. Um, I guess I go for it, yeah. Okay. Maybe I should have recovered first, but I don't want to risk them swapping out. Now we have the Choice Scarf, which is interesting. Uh, and I think I go for a soft hold right here. Faster all of a sudden, very handy. Let's see who they go to. Um, the spikes are definitely way more damage than I thought. It's funny how like kind of in your head calcs you go, okay, yeah, Latios is fine with spikes, that's A-OK, -okay, and yada yada. And, but we're, we're definitely in trouble there. Lava Plume now. I can actually just stall this out very easily. Very easily. We could get hit with status, of course. Great, two more and we'll be back up to full. It did drain 10 of our turns there, but that's fine. Oh, they do get the burn right there. Yeah, that burn was right when they needed it. Let's go to our Latios right now. Mm. Latios, the focus sash. It's coming, it's taking 25%. Think about another 12% from a Lava Bloom. But then we can kill it. Then we can come close to the win. Or I go for Weezing Galar. And now that Raikou's dead, I don't necessarily need rocks up for this team very much at all. So I can go to Weezing Galar on a Lava Plume and go for... Uh, I don't know if I would get it off against Weezing, against Heatran, actually. That's food for thought. Or I could do Jirachi as, as a sack. Get up the Psychic Surge one more time. Go for a, kind of a suicide defog with Weezing, whatever they do at that point. That's not terrible either. Um, I'll, I'll sack Jirachi right here. The Lava Plume. Let's go back to Latios then. It comes in pretty cleanly. Um, there's a case to be made for Psychic King right now, but I will not be making that case. Uh, I'll be interested to see what Skarm does once it comes in. Because Skarm, you know, Aura Sphere is good against this remaining team, but we'll see. Get that off. We're faster than everyone as far as I know, unless it's a Scarf Trick result, which seems like overkill to me. Um, Exodrill's gonna come in. Can I Oko Exodrill? Oh, I don't even know. Can I Oko Excadrill? Well... Let's go to Mew's not doing anything though. No, well, let's do it. X Scissor. Okay, you know, I'm kind of glad I scouted that. And then I can, uh, Ultra Bomb is doing nothing here either. I will defog, and then we got the priority uh, triage afterwards. Don't you dare flinch me. I do dare flinch me. Oh, well, we got the priority pain split. Oh, it doesn't work with triage. Okay, this just in. Pain split and triage do not have an interaction. Uh, they're at least a little bit lower now. I'm not sure if that was needed chip for us, but it helps. I think we just lose the Skarmory at this stage. Um, I'll go for uh, Aura Sphere. Body Press. So close. Aura Sphere is so, so very close. Oh, I was like one hit away because then I could have definitely taken out. <gasps> oh my gosh. <sighs> I am stunned. If we can take this out. We did not deserve this, to be clear. This team was very rocky. Definitely, have, it's not going to be ready for my tournament game tomorrow, but I can't believe it. Wow. Uh, that was a crazy end. <laughs> I was literally, I was like, I said, I was one move away from a win, and then we, we were given that free extra move. Um, okay, so that's going to end the live. That's a pretty funny point to end it on. Um, definitely a long one between the TED Talk and the team building and now this. Definitely some work to be done in this team. I like the idea of compressing uh, the Mew into this Jirachi. Definitely like that. Right here, here's what we're going to do. Write some comments. What do you think this last slot should be? This is why I always like building AAA um, on streams because people always drop creative ideas and stuff. But here we can kind of replicate that with YouTube. What do you think for this last slot of uh, a future site abuser? We could do... I could put like a Metagross in this slot. I really, really like the idea of a Necrozma in this spot, just a classic set. And I can use something besides Prism Armor too, some, some, so some sort of offensive set. Really love that idea. Um, I would probably just do this set. And then we get a, a better Rocker too. I can even take Rocks off Jirachi. And anyways, food for thought. Who do you guys think should be in this last slot? There's a, there's a lot of good abusers of, of Psychic Surge terrain. I've already listed out the important points that we're looking for, so you knew that from the PowerPoint. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Uh, I'll see you next time. Take care.